After Dark, which was used in the film from Dust Till Dawn. So the intro lick is around the B minor pentatonic scale. I'm starting on B, on the B string, with 7 to 10, so that's F sharp to A. Then B to D on the same frets, 7 to 10 on the E string. Then back to B. A on 10 on the B string, E on 9 on the G string, D on 7 with a slight pull, and then land on 9 on the D string, our root note, B. Okay, nice little intro lick. And then the chords, basically uh, two chords for the first section, we've got a B, to A. Okay, and what I was playing, I split it into two guitars. So one guitar I'm playing.
So I've got a, I'm just playing a B and then the A on the top four strings. So that's nine, eight, seven, seven, going down to seven, six, five, five. Okay, and then the set, I'm playing it. Just adding this little, little fill in here. I played six, seven, six on the G string as a trill. So just hammer pull with my second and little finger. And my third finger's already on seven on the D string. So. Okay, and there's a slight variation that I put in, which you sometimes hear in the song. Okay. Just kind of play a double. Hammer to C sharp to D. And then play the lick. So just six, seven, six, seven, six, seven on D. Yeah. Just a variation, which you can throw in or not. But as long as you've got that B to A going, you'll be fine, okay? And the second guitar I added was... Just played a B chord, well, just a B5 really, 2, 4, 4 on the A, D, and G strings. But I'm not really fretting the first couple of notes. I'm just pressing lightly down and also just resting my palm against the bridge to get a muted sound and really just making this note sound, the B. So. And then playing E to A, 2 to 2 on the D and G strings. And then again. So that was the second guitar part. Okay, and then uh, we've got this E to F sharp section. I'm just playing. playing an E chord and for the F sharp I'm playing you can hear a little sus4 note in there so I'm just doing just really kind of arpeggiating that however you like but I'm just adding that on the F sharp which is 9 11 11 on the A D and G strings instead of playing 11 I'm just adding my little finger on 12 on the B string to get that to get that sus4 note back into back into our B to A section okay and then there's this kind of uh, chorus or bridge section however you want to think of it which goes from E D To our main B to A section. At the very end of the song, there's a slight change in the chord sequence. We've got a B to C sharp to E to F sharp. Back into that. So just that extra C sharp chord that's not been in the song before. So just at the very end, there's this little climb. B, C sharp, E, F sharp. Okay, and then the chord, and then the song itself at the very end, you add a little ninth note on nine on the B chord, so on the E string, just a nice ending there. Okay, so next let's take a look at some of those lead parts that I added. For the lead parts, I'm really just going over the top, having some fun. I've got loads of overdrive, wah wah pedal on, and I'm using the B minor pentatonic scale just to kind of fill in throughout the song. So the notes of that scale are B, D, E, F sharp, A, B. So taking it in the seventh position, 
We've got seven, ten, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, ten, seven, ten. I can move that up on the G string to eleven, ten, twelve, ten, twelve. F sharp, A, B, D, E. And I also took it further up the neck going up to B, D, and also E on 12, 15, and 17 on the B string, or 12, 15, 12, 14. You know. So all these notes, and taking it down as well to, to A on 5, you know. All these notes you can just really let loose with and have some fun. So just basically on the B chord, just play long sustained notes. <laughs> kind of stuff just using those notes and all those kind of things just throwing them in and on the kind of chorusy parts just to get a big fat sound just playing some power chords so just that E to F sharp and again I was playing E to D section, and also later in the song, uh, just really going over the top with that sort of playing. Or just open E, E to D, 7 to 5, and, or 7, 9, 7 on the A and G strings. All that kind of stuff works, so they're moving that up to. F sharp, two, four, two, same strings, and then moving it up the neck. Nine, eleven, nine, A and G strings. But again, I'm just not playing anything specific really here. I was just kind of throwing stuff in throughout the song and enjoying it. And the same goes for the solo. I was really just playing all the notes around uh, the scale that I uh, outlined earlier. <laughs> And one thing I did that uh, is a nice that you hear on the record is a bend where it bends from a so we kind of go 15 to 12 on the B string, but then bending D to E. So you go, so you go, and then pushing that up to an F sharp. So going all the way a major third. That kind of things works really nicely. And again, just all those kind of all those kind of blues licks work really well on this song. So as I say, don't try and play anything specific, just use this as a great jamming tool, and if you learn that scale, you can't go wrong. So next let's take a look at the bass part. For the bass, I'm keeping it really simple, just a B. A E. So Seven, five, open, then B, B, A, E, A. So seven, seven, five, open, five. Then again, really simple. I'm just playing an open E for the E chord. 2, F sharp, the F sharp chord, a little A on 5 as a lead note to take me back into. And again, on the E to D section, just playing root notes. Just 7 to 5 on the A string, E, D. Just keeping that going. Moving that up two frets to F sharp and E. So uh, you know, just keep it nice and simple on the bass, and there's a little section at the end. We've got 
B to C sharp to E, so that's two to four or seven to four, whatever you want to do, or seven to nine. Just that extra C sharp at the end. But it's a really simple song to follow. So um, just keep it nice and steady on the bass and enjoy After Dark. And uh, happy Halloween. Thanks for watching.